Captain Gorilla, Jing K, JK05. This is a KO of Studio Series 106 Leader Class Optimus Primal from Rise of the Beasts. And yes, he's oversized. I got this from AliExpress. Here's his weapons. Comes with a transwarp key that splits. Comes with some chains and an axe. Oh, that's a nice axe. How much you want for it? Hey, buddy. He stands around eight inches tall, which I think is like two inches bigger than the official figure. These things don't really lock, which kind of sucks. If anybody knows a way that they do, please let me know in the comments below. Overall, he looks great, though. It's a back shot. It's got die cast feet. The toe, the foot, and the heel spur are all metal. It really gives a good sense of weight to this figure. For articulation, the head can move left and right. Can't really go up and down because of the collar. Arms can rotate 360. They come out to the side. Shoulder pad can move up and down. Now mine came with two right shoulder pads, so I had to trim it. But it was an easy fix. Otherwise, it sat like that. So I just fixed it. Bicep swivel. He's also got this crazy joint here, which is mostly for gorilla mode. Or is it? Okay. Uh, elbow bend. It's got uh, wrist rotation. And then the fingers can move in two spots here and here. Thumb is fixed. It still flaps around. It's kind of annoying. It's got a waist rotation. Legs can kick forward. Pretty good. It can kick back. Out to the side. They're a little weak due to them die cast feet. It's got a ratcheted knee, which is really nice. Good and clickety. And the foot has ankle tilt. And it can move down. And the toe can move up. He's also got thigh rotation. So all the same articulation. This arm's a little loose here though on mine. I'll have to tighten that. All the same articulation as the original leader class figure. Just bigger. He comes with his two swords. And mine came with two right swords. So I had to put a little peg in mine so they could join together like that. You don't really need it. As they can both slide in the hand, but I wanted to have the ability to join the weapons together. So he can hold that, do some blade cut in action. Very nice. And he comes with these chain things here. You can see you can plug it into the uh, port here and then here. If I didn't add this peg, then I wouldn't be able to plug these two parts together, but now I can. So in case you want to have this big uh, jump rope of death, uh, why not? It's all the rage nowadays. Oh, and he comes with an axe. Huh, did somebody say axe? Get out of here. Hey, I am up to Alright, let's get this out of here. They also can be split, and he can sort of hold them in his hands. The way that they're shaped, they really don't fit into the hands well. You can grip the fingers around it, and you can hold it like that. Same with this side here. I think these are mainly for battle trap, um, but you can't use them for monkey mode. But as soon as you start monkeying around with these weapons, you get a little aggressive, well, that happens. So, oh well. So, won't be using that. can store the blades on his back, just like this. They tab in, just like that. And you can take the axe, you can plug it into the side of his leg here if you want. And for the transwarp key, we'll just put that right there. As far as these chain parts, uh, you can plug it in back here, but I ended up splitting mine just too snug, so I wouldn't recommend that. For size comparison, here he is with the Byway Optimus Prime. You can see the size different. Uh, the leader class is more this size for the original. And here is MHZ Toys Supreme Commander. Uh, and they match really well. They're a good size together. Very nice. 
it. And here is the Byway Leader Class KO Scourge. They look good together. Here's the Byway Explorer Elder and Star Leader combination. Just to get a size reference. Oh, watch out, Josh Jamal. Oh, and here's Josh Jamal. Watch out, it shoots you from the bottom up. Ooh, poor blackout. Here is Masterpiece Jazz. Come on, Maximal Punk. Oh. And here we have Kingdom Optimus Primal. I really wish that this uh, red and blue coloration was transferred over to the newer version. I think it just breaks up all that gray. Speaking of gray, uh, here's uh, Byway Voyager Class Ironhide. Rest in peace, buddy. Here we have the old Leader Class Optimus. Just shows the difference between uh, how Leader Class used to be. And here is the Transmetal 2 Megatron. Yes. Came with the Beast Wars motif, I guess. And here is Masterpiece Optimus Primal. And you can see once again the colors. If they had this red and the blue, that would just it would just look so nice. I don't know why they didn't do that for the movie. Just so dark. Oh, and speaking of dark, here we have the Dark Knight himself. And we have uh, Batfleck from Fonjoy. Uh, they kind of got the same little ears. How cute. Alfred, make me a sandwich. Oh, he's hangry. For transformation, first take this backpack here. We unpeg it right there. We fold this part up, take this little part, and you got to kind of turn it this way, and then swivel it around, bring it up. And we'll just leave it like that. That's going to cover the back of the uh, gorilla mode. We'll take this part from the back, swivel it around, plug it in here. That'll become the gorilla belly. Looks real nice. As far as the legs, you got to take this part, separate it, pop the knee up. And we got to fold this robot foot back, compressing it all together. Then take this part and tab it in the back and fold the knee pad down. It's got to look like this. Fold that heel spur up, just like that. And there's a leg. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. There we go. All right. Now for the torso here, open this up. And we'll grab this. You have to rotate it. There's not much clearance for this version. You kind of move it around. Get the monkey head in position. Kind of got to line it up. It's a bit loose. But you line that back up. And then we take these arms here. We open up this front part. Flip this little panel up. Flip the inner panel up. And then we take this, rotate this fur piece. And then the whole hand will rotate around to reveal the monkey hand. Let me close this panel up. Close these two up like this. And we turn the fist around. And the instructions say to keep the fur part of the inside, so we'll do that on both sides here. Then we'll spin the head around, angle it up so we can fold this over the back. Take that, and I'll just kind of come down and sit on his back, just like that. We'll straighten out his head. We'll just get the hands lined up here. This is how the instructions say to pose the arms. And there he is. It's a pretty good mode. He's solid. He's got some good weight to him. Decent plastic. Doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. It's real nice. For articulation, his mouth can open and close. Head rotates. Can look up. Oh, you know what we got to do here. Hell yeah. Okay, seriously though. The arms have all the same articulation. You can rotate, swivel, just like in the robot mode. It's got this cool extra joint here, which now you fold forward and fold this down and orient the arms like this. It's kind of got this gorilla mode like this, see? And it sort of works. Kind of looks a little weird, but if you want to display them like that, you can do it. So that's cool.
got nothing at the waist. And the legs can move this way. You can do the uh, outward kick. Nothing at the knees. He's got a little bit here at the foot, like that. And that's about it. The monkey legs are always so limited in these uh, Optimus Primal Transformers. He can't stand up. You just kind of straighten this, make him like that. Some King Kong action right here. Ooh, he needs the Snickers. But here's how he's supposed to look. And he looks decent. I think they did a good job. Wish they would have hit the feet a little bit better, but what can you do? Here's a size comparison in monkey mode. Here's the Bioway Optimus Prime. Still want this axe, huh? Oh yeah, come to pop. No, not really, because even though it comes with this figure, it is too big. It won't fit into the five millimeter port of the uh, Bioway figure's hand. So, sorry, Prime, can't use it. Oh, that's just not prime. How about for the uh, larger size, the uh, Supreme Commander? He should be able to hold it, surely. Huh, surely? My name's not Shirley. Let's check it out. And nope. Still too large. Oh well. Here's uh, Scourge, the Byway Leader class. You guys must shop at the same store. Nice. Oh, and here is Kingdom Optimus Primal. And they look really good together. You can see that they took a lot of the same transformation techniques from this figure. Especially for the back part. But it's a little cleaner. I do like this figure. Very nice. Got that Gorilla Magic. And here he is holding all of his accessories. Oh yeah, and his bling chain if you want. But I'm just going to keep this to the side. There we go. That's more like it. You can hold on to the axe and the blades. And the transwarp key. Oh, and his chain. Alright, let's get rid of this. Straighten those little monkey fingers. So what do I think overall? For the price, I think I paid $26 for him. He's totally worth it. Um, he has metal feet. He's got good heft. Uh, the paint job is good. The quality of plastic's excellent. He's got great posability. The only thing I didn't like was the defective shoulder, which I just modded, and the uh, messed up weapons. But overall, he's great. Now, I got him from AliExpress. Um, took about eight days to arrive from overseas, so it was really fast and speedy, and I highly recommend you go over to the site and grab one of these for yourself today. I mean, look at that. A Mortal Kombat action right there. Optimus Primal Maximize. Oh, yeah, I can't forget the monkey mode. Looks really nice. That's right. Oh, snap. Calm down, son. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe today. Thanks for watching. Hmm. I don't want the stupid eggs, anyways. Heads up, <laughs> sucker. Huh. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I can hold this extra fine. Don't blame the X. Blame your designers. Casey, I got a new toy for you.